Our society is becoming more and more mobile. Its fuel consumption is rising all the time. The oil companies are increasingly using biofuels in order to meet their legal quotas. Biodiesel B7 has the biggest market share, accounting for up to 7%. E10 petrol contains up to 10% of eco-friendly bioethanol. Also on offer are fuels with higher blends like BioSuper E85 petrol or even neat fuels like Biodiesel B100. But the growing demand for biofuels can lead to unwanted side effects. For example, when rainforest is cleared to grow biofuels which are actually supposed to help the climate, clearly we need new rules. Since the 1st of January 2011, the Sustainability Directive has laid down a uniform set of rules for all biofuels consumed in Germany. For the first time, the Directive implements the relevant EU regulation. It applies worldwide and it sets an example to other branches of the economy. The evidence of conformity starts with the growers of the raw materials, such as oilseed rape, soya, cereals, and to a minor extent also palm oil. The farmers must declare that the biomass they have grown meets the requirements of the Sustainability Directive. They must submit documentary evidence when the certification authorities ask for it. Transport, storage and trade of the biomass must comply with the regulations of the directive. During all stages of the production process, independent authorities check whether the Sustainability Directive has been complied with. Checks are made in the oil mills, during transport and during intermediate storage and the biofuel manufacturer must also reckon with inspections. Besides transport routes, energy consumption during the production process and potential further utilization of byproducts are recorded. All these data are used to calculate the greenhouse gas balance. The final link in the chain, the biofuel manufacturer, collects all the sustainability documentation relating to the earlier stages of production. This also applies to foreign producers of palm and soya oil. Finally, all the emissions are added up. In total, biofuels must emit at least 35% less greenhouse gases than fossil fuels. The oil companies are only allowed to credit sustainably produced biofuels to their statutory quotas. The proof of sustainability thus ensures that worldwide, valuable habitats for plants or animals are not lost as a result of growing biomass. Habitats such as moors, peat bogs and rainforests. Some certification systems also demand compliance with social criteria, both at home and abroad. If they want to export to Germany, foreign producers must show that they are producing in a socially sustainable fashion. As the largest producer of biodiesel, Germany is setting global standards with its sustainability directive. This is the first time that such far-reaching, globally applicable, sustainability regulations have been introduced in any branch of the economy, for the good of the planet. <laughs>